Hey guys, my name is Eric and I'm the founder of Daily Fantasy Nerd. I'm going to show you today how to use Daily Fantasy Nerd to supercharge your DFS research. Let's get started. Daily Fantasy Nerd supports FanDuel, DraftKings, and Yahoo, as well as all four major sports. Let's take a look at the matchup section over here. We have Vegas Odds, which is a great starting point for your DFS research. You can tell here that the Warriors and Hawks game has the highest over-under of the game, and we highlight that in orange for you to very quickly identify favorable stats. Likewise, we highlight unfavorable stats in blue. Looking at high over-under games is a good starting point to select players from because high-scoring games are going to have more chances at fantasy point production. Next, we can take a look at the Vegas spread. The spread is a good place to start to look for games that could be potential blowouts. Today, you may want to avoid players from the Clippers and Suns because if the game's a blowout in the fourth quarter, your starters may not play in the fourth, and so their upside is kind of limited. All right, let's take a look at the players table down here. We have basic information provided for you, day's rest, Vegas projected points scored, advanced stats, opposing defense stats, and opportunity stats. Field goal attempts, and especially minutes, is king in the NBA. In the NHL, that's time on ice and shots on goal. For baseball, that's plate appearances, essentially batting order spot. And for the NFL, that's carries and targets. Opportunity stats are a great way of looking at how much opportunity a player has to score fantasy points. Next, we have fantasy point averages, last five game, season, floor, and ceiling. Our floor and ceiling stats are useful for cash and GPP contests respectively to look at consistency and upside. Finally, we have Daily Fantasy Nerd's custom projections. We live update these projections throughout the day as news comes in, including injury updates, starting lineups, Vegas odds, and even weather for certain sports. We highly recommend that you regularly check in throughout the day in order to get the latest information possible, especially right before lineup lock. Let's take a look at game logs next. We'll dive into Kyle Lowry. At the top, you can see a fancy point cohort breakdown, including opponent, home and away, start and bench, and day's rest. We also highlight previous matchups against today's opponent. We also have pretty much all of the standard scoring stats that you would expect, so you can quickly identify how the player's been doing by the color coding Remember, orange means favorable, and blue means unfavorable. All right, now that we've gotten a hang of the basics of Daily Fantasy Nerd, let's start trying to put together a lineup. We'll start by filtering by point guards and sorting by value. Value is Daily Fantasy Nerd's way of measuring bang for buck, or essentially the fantasy point per dollar amount that you're getting for a player. Over here we have the like count. This is the number of likes by Daily Fantasy Nerd users and is a useful measure of chalk plays for the day. You can see here that D'Angelo Russell has a high like count. And I like him too because he's starting today, so we'll go ahead and lock him in. Next, let's look at shooting guards. For the same reason, I like Zach Levine because he's starting today and he has a high value. And I really like Jamal Crawford. He has a very good defensive matchup against a poor Phoenix defense. And he's been taking a lot of field goal attempts lately. So he's getting a lot of shots. And he's been playing a lot more minutes. So we'll go ahead and lock in Crawford. Next, I really like Giannis here. Again, a high light count. Very poor Lakers defense. And he's been taking a lot of shots and playing a lot of minutes. We'll go ahead and lock in Giannis. Power forward. Same story as Giannis is Jabari Parker against a poor Lakers defense. He's been taking a lot of field goal attempts lately, and wow, he's been playing a lot of minutes. So we'll go ahead and lock in Jabari. Finally, at the center position, Carl Anthony Towns is very clearly the top play of the game, of the day, excuse me. He's been playing a lot of minutes, he's been taking a lot of shots, and he's my favorite center for the day, so I'm going to go ahead and lock him in. All right. Now that we've locked in some of our favorite players, let's see what kind of lineup we can build around that. 
Cool. This looks pretty good to me. Gorgie Dang, I'm a little bit hesitant about because he had a poor last game, so I'm going to go ahead and exclude him and see what we get in return. Porzingis, I think he also had a dud, so I'm, I'm a little bit scared of him. Go ahead and exclude him as well. Ah, I like this lineup. Normally I'd be a little hesitant to play Millsap against Draymond Green, but today Bogut's injured, and so he's going to shift to the 5, and Barnes is probably going to play the 4, which means that Millsap has a little bit of a favorable matchup. In addition, for the same reason, Iguodala's going to probably get a little bit more playing time, so I like this lineup. And Curry, he's a stud. He has a very high floor, um, always a very safe play. So I'm going to go ahead and use this lineup. All right, that concludes our tutorial. I hope you learned something today. Um, if you haven't had a chance, you can sign up for Daily Fantasy Nerd by going to our homepage and clicking Get Started Free. Good luck!